What's up, my dear lovelies? You guys, today I am eating a home cooked meal. I got some corned beef here with some cabbage and some tomatoes and a blueberry <coughs> muffin. But I'm gonna get to saying grace and tell you how I come about came about of making this meal. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let me get my thumbnail. Or, I gotta do three of them, y'all. Or, let me see. Ooh, this torn beef, y'all. I can't wait to put my mouth on this. Ooh. Okay, that's three thumbnails. <laughs> I know y'all like, danger, three? Come on now, B. Okay, so I was inspired by Dame Dash to be able to, um, let me make sure I'm saying his name right. So this meal was inspired by Flavors by Dame Dash, y'all. He had some um, corned beef and... Corned beef and cabbage. And y'all, I was like, I'm going to eat that because he made it look so good. I'm like, I'm going to eat that. I got that in my freezer right now. I'm going to take that out. Go make me some cabbage. And y'all, the rest was history. So I got my Tabasco sauce. I got my cabbage on deck. Look at that cabbage, y'all. Look at that. I'm so happy I watched him because I almost, you know when you got a deep freezer, you almost forget what you got. <laughs> it's the truth. You forget what you got. So I had this in a deep freezer. So I said, I might as well make it. And so, voila, my husband's eating right now. This is what I made him for dinner. He's in there watching a movie, eating. So y'all might hear the TV going. But um, I had to improvise on this meal, y'all. Mmm. Okay. And like Dang said, I like mine shredded too. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Mm hmm This cabbage is right. Ooh. Okay, y'all. First of all, it's crazy. Because I had went to the store, right, to go get me a head of a cabbage. First of all, they didn't have cabbage. They only had one head of cabbage left. And it was a very little bit small. And I was like, man, I was so mad. And I was like so busy focusing on that. I found out they had organic cabbage as well. So I got me organic cabbage and stuff. And y'all forgot my smoked meat. So mad. At myself. For not grabbing the smoked meat. So. Needless to say. When I got home. I found out I didn't have it. So what I did is. Yeah I put some pepperoni in it. For a minute. To bring out that flavor. So that's what I had. I'm telling you, you gotta use what you got. So that's what I did. It's like you can use whatever you want to use to make your meal the way you want to make it. You know what I'm saying? To make it flavorful, flavorful for you. There is no rules. I don't think there's rules like that. Unless I know some of y'all that's cooks know the rules, but I don't know the rules. And for the most part, everything in my kitchen goes. Like, you know, I'll throw a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Even with this cabbage, just to make the broth, I put some milk in it. Some milk and broth. And it tastes really good. But I put I, I cook my cabbage in a big, big pot. I could sometimes I make cabbage soup. How do you ever taste cabbage soup? Oh my goodness, cabbage soup is so good. 
Mm-mm-mm. And I make it like creamy, like not too creamy, but it's a milky broth, like with a lot of vegetable. And I make sure I cut the cabbage up really fine. This is really good. I should have had this in March. I should have cooked this myself because I didn't cook my. I think I went somewhere. Yeah, I did. Actually, I did. I went somewhere in March for my. Did I? I think I did because we was in the process of moving. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It was really good. I'm telling y'all, I got a lot of YouTubers that be inspiring me to do some stuff. I still want to make. Steph and Tosh made these fajitas, chicken, chicken fajitas and stuff, or something that I still want to make. I want to make those so bad. So I'm going to make those. I still got to make. Eat um eat with cues um fry seafood. So mm, it's good. Mm. Mm. Who like cut up tomatoes season? Mm. On point. Mm. I used to remember back in the day my dad used to eat uh cut up tomatoes and cut up onions with his black eyed peas and cornbread. That was good. It really was. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. So, I made this in the crock pot. Of course, y'all know it's easy. Easy to make corned beef. Very easy. It's easy to make um, cabbage, too. I just sauteed it. I mean, not sauteed it. But it's kind of like boiled, boiled in a pot with butter and milk <coughs> and broth. And I put bell peppers, jalapenos, onions, garlic. I think that's it. In different variety of seasoning. And of course the pepperoni. Which would never be in my stuff if I didn't have if I had my smoked meat. I know. Dame said he put some, um, he fried some bacon in his, which was good too. I think we had to use the last of the bacon. We had burgers the other night, bacon cheeseburgers. So that was the end of the bacon. <laughs> so we couldn't do that. But it works. That's very good. My husband loves it. And that's really all that matters. That he likes it. And this is my muffin. I didn't make the muffins. I brought the muffin from um the store.
Dame had to use um. <laughs> He stole his niece's little macaroni and cheese cup. <laughs> it was too funny and cute. I know she probably was yelling at him, fussing at him. It is gone. It was a little Velveeta macaroni and cheese cup. But shoot, that man worked hard. He be getting off like, he works night shift and be get home, coming home doing videos. So I understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. I don't understand. Oh, this corn beef is good. Corn beef. I don't even know how much I pay for that corn beef. But corn beef can be pricey, y'all. I can get how much I pay for though. Oh, and I put vinegar in here, too. I kind of make my um, cabbage the same way I make my greens. It's not really a big difference. I know you know how some people... Ooh, that's so good. Some people uh, mix their cabbage and their greens... Mm-hmm. Mm. I still got some cabbage I need to add to the the broth that I got. You know how you uh, cut up cabbage and uh, it fills up the pot real quick and it fills up a whole lot but it shrinks. That's what mine did and now I could, I could fit like probably one more head in there. No, I'm gonna eat this. Take a piece of it. Mm. It's pretty good with this. That's sweet and and, and uh, sweet and salty. about to go we already talking about Christmas shopping and making a list of what to get we go me and my husband like to do Christmas shopping like Cyber Monday what y'all like to do do y'all do it on um, Black Friday or do you like Cyber Monday when you can just shop online all day with all the deals, all the sales, don't have to worry about anything. It all get delivered to your house. All you got to really do is worry about the kid. And actually, you don't have to worry about that because it comes delivered to your house and it's already wrapped. Grab it full. It's already wrapped for you. So you don't have to worry about that or it disclosing anything of the kids opening up the box and saying, oh, I got a gift. It's all wrapped. I remember one year we did that the whole, we did the whole Christmas like that. And my son's gifts was sitting in the um, living room, oh, in our office for so long. And he thought for the longest it was my it, it was my husband's uh, stuff from work. Because sometimes he gets stuff delivered from work at our house. It was crazy, but it worked. 
and you still get the sales and you don't have to worry about you know going out on black friday I think that the only way that I would go out, I don't even know if I do that now because you see so many deals. And then you can go online and shop on Black Friday as well. And now it ain't Black Friday, it's on Thanksgiving. Mmm. So Thanksgiving Day is when people go shopping. Mm. I wonder why uh, it's crazy. So now your Thanksgiving with your family is cut short. Because everybody want to go Black Friday shopping and get all electronics and all that stuff. I think they should have kept it on Friday and not open it up for Thursday. What's happening? What y'all think about that? Do you think it takes away from the family? From what you want to get done, what you want to do? With the family? Yes, I'm gonna cook some more uh, of the inspiring meals by YouTubers. Huh. I do be watching y'all. I do be watching. Yes, I do. Why are you giving me ideas? Cause I know I, w I really want to make that. Was it? No, it was enchiladas. They made chicken enchiladas. I don't know why I say fajitas. It was chicken enchiladas. Steph and Tosh did, and I want to make them. Cause they looked just so. Oh my goodness, the way they was eating them and the way they made them looked so easy. So. I don't know. I wouldn't have a problem making them. I just gotta get all the ingredients needed to make it happen. And it didn't require a lot of ingredients. I just wanna make sure I get the right, I think the green sauce, they said they like one flavor better than the, the other. Well, my, my fault, not one flavor, one brand. So I think that I should make it the exact same way they made it because I want to enjoy it the way, way they enjoyed it because I know they enjoyed that meal. That meal was, whoo, it looks so good. I'm thinking about it right now. I just see the picture in my head. Um, I see Steph and Tosh tearing that stuff up. You know how they be doing them close shots, close up shots, and they when they be eating that food in their mouth, they be like, man, 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah. See, I'm not good like that. That editing, that's some special effects of editing skills. I'm straight to the point. Mmm. Big block of corn bin. Look at that right there. Look at that bad boy. And Dame was talking about how much he, he said, well, how y'all like y'all corn beef? I like mine like this. Shredded. It's so good. Mmm. Have y'all ever had a, a real corn beef sound right there? Shredded, but with the mustard and be real thick. Mustard sauerkraut. That's what I used to make this with. I used to make my corned beef with uh, sauerkraut. Which is really good. Some people don't like sauerkraut. But I like it a lot. Because I like the tanginess. The, uh... I always like pickled carrots or something. Hang on. A lot of people don't like the smell either. Some high smell. I'm gonna eat it, man. I'm not even bye bye. I was trying to get ways to make, um, I'm gonna go make cornbread. So I said, let me uh, just grab get a muffin. <laughs> That's how I get that. Mm. This is all right. This is all right. This is all right. Yeah, yeah. Nice, good meal, y'all. Good, easy, quick meal. Um, even if you don't want to use cabbage and you like, man, I just can't. Just use some vegetables, man. Throw this thing in a crock pot. These are vegetables that you can um, heat up in a microwave in the back. Very simple for that working mom. Very simple. Or that at home mom, it don't matter. Just something for you to do. And if you don't, because cabbage, it don't, it don't really don't take that long to, to cook cabbage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cabbage probably, it took me probably about a half hour. Maybe a half hour to 40 minutes to bring it to a nice boil so it can be able to cook all the way through. But yeah, and some people don't like their cabbage uh, hard. They like theirs more, no, some people like their cabbage like a little crunchy. I don't like mine's crunchy. I like mine's more boiled, like softer, like. Um, I know Dane was sharing that he like his more crunchy, a little crunch to his. I don't like that. Although I know that the nutrients are all, all cooked out when you cook it all the way down.
Mm. I need to wipe my tie. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So how many more? Let me. How many I got left? Ooh, my heart is stuck. Y'all got this shirt. This is a shirt. It's supposed to be. It's not a thing in the back. I can't show y'all, but a little line in the back, and it's supposed to be off the shoulder, like off the shoulder, like, but. It's whatever. And it's a sweater from, why are we always trying to say H&M or Forever 21? When I know good and doggone well, I don't go shopping there. That's because everybody else goes shopping there, I think. New York and company, y'all, New York and company. Maybe a lot of older people shop in New York and coming. That's why it's which I am older, so that's why I probably shop there. For the most part. I have shopped other places, but that's my main main store. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all, I'm getting full. Put this big old chunk of meat back up. It's me, yo. You can make a good sandwich out of that. Mm-hmm. Corn beef sandwich. Wow, what I know about that? Mm. Y'all, this girl, I'm so silly. The thing went right, right off on me. I'm like, dang, I know it wasn't, uh, I don't know. I'm probably just say 22, but anyway. I'm sorry. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let me know what your girls want on the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. Peace. Peace, peace, love, and hair grease. I did say I was done, didn't I? I always say that. Okay, I really am done, though. I really am.